see it? Oh my god, is that not the most amazing lamp you have ever seen in your entire life? My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Lamp Lady and welcome to my channel. Alright, well this has been very much requested. We are back at one of our old haunts. <laughs> Can you guess where we are? Maybe? We are back at Finders Keepers. It has been a while since we've been to Finders Keepers, but I know a lot of you have asked, what happened? What happened to Finders Keepers? Why don't you go there anymore? I just, I just have not been here. No, there, nothing happened. Nothing has happened. There has been no reason for me to not come here. <laughs> I just, I have, I have not been here in a while. We are here now. We are at Finders Keepers. The much requested finders keepers and we're going to head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit so here we go all right well it looks like they are all set up for halloween and fall lots of nice furniture this wicker piece, it looks pretty comfy. It's hmm, be ninety nine ninety five because it's not quite November yet. The ch prices change with the dates. For those of you who have never seen a Finders Keepers video, ooh, look at that art pottery. Let's check that out. That's kind of an interesting set. Omen. I feel like we've had that pottery before. Hmm. Omen. I can't remember. But I really like that. It's a real pretty design. Now this set right here, um, it's not quite October 16th yet. So it would be $9.95 on this set. Those are some nice hefty mugs. I kind of like that. I think maybe we'll get that for just 10 bucks. Looks like a fairy light up here. What do we have on this? $5.95. Looks like some of the stain is wearing off of that. Unfortunately, you can see it there. That's a shame. It's a cute little footed fairy light. Nice vintage umbrella there. It's kind of a nice glass vase with the applied rings around it. I'm a little nervous pulling it out of there. Let's see. Here we go. Looks like a little bit of the rings are missing. That is real pretty though. I don't know. Let's go check out the bid board. Wow, it looks like the bid room is pretty full back here. Needlecraft magazine. That's pretty neat. Now here in the bid room, uh, for those of you, again, who have never been to Finders Keepers, I realize it's been a while since I was here last. Um, they have these bid sheets and you can start the bid out or you could buy it now for this price. Now, since I don't come here very often, I will typically just buy it now at this price. Um, I find that that's usually my best option. This is a really interesting clock. I think it's made of resin though. It's really pretty, $25. Now I did notice 
the cozy kittens over here. Holt Howard, cozy kittens. Oh, they don't have their uh, little sound boxes in there, but they are cute. Oh, this one does. Oh, they're so sweet. They're almost always chipped when I find them. So they're in pretty good condition. Really sweet little kitties. I think the last time I found one, I only found one of them. I might consider those. They're a Holt Howard. What do we have up here? Oh, little silhouettes of kittens. Got some vintage uh, pencil boxes here made out of wood. I think those are really cool. This one's interesting because it actually says patent applied for. Ah, it looks like we've got praying hands. <laughs> All right, well. Ooh, we look at that. glass lamp. MC lamp as is. Oh, unfortunately there is a split here in the base. That's disappointing. It's a pretty glass lamp. Franciscan Desert Rose. Interesting. Wedgwood Group. Wow. I think that's more contemporary than what I'm used to seeing. As I was walking out of the room, I noticed this Henri music box. Does it work? Oh, it does work. Look at that. Oh, I love it. What movement does it have? Swiss musical movement. Oh, I love it. The bottom is wants to fall out, but that's fantastic. So the price on this um, is six ninety six, I think. No, tomorrow is the fourteenth, so it's eight forty six. Oh, that's fantastic. An Henri music box. Great. All right, well, I was checking out this Radon set right here. Um, they've got 761 on it, which isn't terrible. I think it sells between 15 and 20 bucks. It's a nice set. It's a good price. I was buying it for personal use, but for resale, I'm just not really sure about it. And then my eye kind of wandered to this seagull. I don't see any markings on Oh, no, no markings. How much is the seagull? Seagull is $4.95. I like the seagull on the driftwood. I think it's a reasonable, decent piece. So, where, oh, I, there is. I'm like, where did I put my music box? So, I think we'll grab those two pieces for now. I noticed this vase here. Um, it's got these calla lilies. And I was like, what's the price on the vase? Apparently, it's the lilies in the vase for four dollars and twenty cents and what I like about this is the bottom I mean the bottom looks to have some age it's stamped five I don't know what the sticker there indicates if that was an old price sticker but I think it's got some age to it I'm not sure maybe I'm crazy maybe it's not that old <laughs> but for only four dollars and twenty cents, I don't know. It's just curious. So I think I'm gonna buy this, and I think this might be the last thing we're gonna grab. This is also an older vase, a beautiful arts and crafts green. I like that one. I'm not really a fan of the flowers. I might have to find another vase to stick them in. Although that might mess them up. Maybe I'll just tell them at the checkout that I don't really want the flowers, but I like the vase. 
and uh, we'll do that. That is only uh, $4.16. So look at us cleaning up on the vases. All right, well our total spend there at Finders Keepers was $32. That was it, that's all we spent. Uh, but I think we're gonna run around the corner now. There are two local Goodwills. I have not had tremendous luck at them in the recent past. <laughs> so I haven't really been coming up here very often because I just haven't found a whole lot. But we're gonna give it our best shot and we're gonna go around the corner and see what we can find at the Goodwill. Here we go. All right, well I was making a beeline for the brown section and I noticed this sunflower vase. It's a dollar ninety-nine. I don't see any cracks or chips on it and I kinda like the design of it. So I might grab that. What are these down here? This looks like Homer Laughlin. I was gonna say they look kinda like Spode, but they're not. All right, I'm gonna grab this, stick it in my cart, and uh, we're gonna start from the brown. Well, there isn't a whole lot of brown, is there? <laughs> All right, well, we'll do our best. Here we go. Let's see what we can find. Oh my gosh. I'm a little tempted to buy this for our mannequin. <laughs> but I'm not going to. She could really use a wig. Plumbing products. I might actually, I don't know, Kohler. What are they though? I could use these. To be honest, I need some plumbing stuff for my bathroom sink, but I don't know what's all, what all is in here. I don't know. I thought it would be like a faucet or something. I don't need whatever this is though. If I can get it back closed. What is this thing? Westinghouse, what does it do? Oh my goodness, it's like a warmer thing. That's pretty cool. I don't know exactly how it works though. 1905 patent. I don't know how that thing would work. Is that a cloth cord? It's a little frightening. <laughs> a little frightening. Andrew would probably know what it is. We've got a uh, nativity scene there. This is a sculpture of a head. <laughs> that looks like home goods. Don't really need that. All right, so I guess there's not a whole lot of brown stuff today and that's okay. Let's go over to the white section because I did see some promising things in the white section. We're gonna skip this aisle because we're following the arrows today. And uh, we're gonna check this out. This is kind of an interesting, oh my gosh, it's actually made from like a wood material. I thought that was going to be a uh, pottery but it's actually made from like a I don't know like a pulpy kind of plant is that bamboo maybe I'm not really sure it's interesting all right um, <laughs> I'm not really finding much do you see it oh my god is that not the most amazing lamp you have ever seen in your entire life Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's broken. Of course, of course it's broken. Of course it's broken. The neck is broken right there. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's rewired and everything. I mean, it's $1.99. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I'm willing to forgive it. Oh, and it's heartbreaking to think that it maybe wasn't even broken when it was donated. It's absolutely stunning. Look at the colors. Let's talk about this for a moment, shall we? This is a real piece of work right there. <laughs> a little creepy. I can't believe that just happened. Oh my gosh. I was like, I was like, all right, I'm about ready to get out of here because nothing is happening. <laughs> Reach over the aisle and find that. Holy smokes. Bless our nest. These are kind of cute. I'm not really sure I'm feeling the frames. But I do like them. And those are embroidered. Made in China, Walmart. I think the frames are made in Walmart. I don't think the embroidery is. I don't know. I do like the birds. I think the birds would sell pretty well. I'll grab those. I might buy some of these um, jewelry boxes. $1.99 for the whole bag and we can, well, 
I don't really care for the white ones. The white ones are kind of discolored. I was going to say the, the gray ones are great for um, our jewelry because we have been selling a lot of jewelry recently, but the white ones are discolored and they're all mixed bags. If I had just a bag of the gray ones, I might consider, but considering they're all mixed up and this is already open, I didn't open it, but that's like dirty. I don't really want to mess with that. Well, these are kind of fun and kitschy. They're chalk. Swap a smile, trade some cheer. Let's be happy while we're here. 1978 Miller Studio. I like those. Those are super fun and kitschy. I'll stick those in our cart. Alright, so I decided to check this, uh, this aisle one last time before I got out of here. I noticed these little angels here. They looked promising. Unfortunately, one of them does have a glued wing. So I'm going to pass on those. But this baggie over here, I don't know if you can see it right there. But we've got a little Balik piggy. You can see his marking right there. So I was checking him over. I don't see any damage on him. There's also a, is that a cat? A nice looking cat and an, an alien eyeball staring at us. So I think we're going to stick this in our cart because I'm pretty excited about that pig there. That's pretty awesome. What is this here? I don't know what that is. Um, over here, this, oh, that's a mug. I don't see any markings on the bottom of that. This, what is this? Oh. That is, um, let's peel the sticker and see. Clearly, it says the pottery. Dalton, Pennsylvania, I think. We've purchased a piece before that said that same thing. Um, and I think it did pretty well. So I'm going to grab this for $1.99. See, I'm so glad we're retracing our steps. Because the, when I first came in here, I was kind of speeding through. And now that I'm actually looking, I'm finding things like these. Squirrels, but I think I'm going to pass on the squirrels. <laughs> this dog, I think, is a ceramics piece that somebody failed to paint. Alright, well, we found a few things today. I'm pleased with that. This looks like pearl china. It's not marked on the bottom, though. Oh my gosh. Look at them all. <laughs> These are Tuesday morning. They are an entire collection of onions. These are the onion vases, right? Or the candlesticks? They're all onions. $1.99 each. I think I will grab four of them. And I will leave the rest for somebody else because I don't need them all. Oh my gosh, they're like new old stock onions. I remember when we bought those at... Um, Oxford Market Antiques. We did really well with those. So, we'll leave a few. We don't need them all. And, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. I mean, that's two pairs. That's pretty nice. Let's check out these baggies over here. Now I'm checking all the baggies after I found that bleak piggy. That was pretty good. Oh, what is this up here? This is made in the Philippines, unfortunately. <laughs> He's missing part of his head. This is kind of disappointing, this little left in angel. She's got a boo-boo there on her flower. That's a bummer. What are these? Oh, they're candlesticks. What are those? Made in China candlesticks for the windows. I take back everything I said. <laughs> I think I was just being a negative Nancy. I was being negative and I had a negative frame of mind because when I took the moment to slow down and actually look, I was able to find stuff today. So I'm very pleased with everything that I found here at the Goodwill today. We got some real cute little kitschy sunflowers. Uh, we got the sunflower vase and we got the most amazing lamp in the whole world. I hope that it's able to be remedied. Um, it really sucks that the neck is broken. It's a very fragile neck. I'm like looking over here, like what is this thing? Let's see if you can see it. Can you see this thing? What is that? Oh my gosh, can I zoom in that far? Oh my gosh. I don't even know if I can zoom in that far. There is like this white 
monster in that car over there. I don't even know what that is. Is it a person? I don't think it's gonna pick up for you guys. There's a white monster staring at me and now I'm all zoomed in. <laughs> like half tempted to go drive by it just so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm very freaked out right now. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go drive by this white monster and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm not crazy. There is definitely like a Halloween mask on that car and that is what I was seeing from over there. <laughs> Y'all thought I was crazy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.